Honorable President Grimson, Excellencies, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present to you Germany's Arctic policy. The objective of, is to provide you with an overview of the German strategic approach to the Arctic policy and to describe the instruments we employ to implement our strategy from a political perspective. Germany, being a northern but not an Arctic country in the true sense, has been continuously and actively involved in the Arctic affairs for more than 150 years, mainly in research. Names like Alfred Wegener, Georg von Neumeyer, Karl Koldewey are well known to the wider public, and our expedition vessels date back all the way to 1868, when the research ships Greenland sailed to Greenland and Spitsbergen to collect meteorological, oceanic, 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 geomagnetic data. And while the high north has for the longest time been for the majority of Germans an area of adventure, mystery, romanticism, and courageous explorers, we all have realized that it is the focal point of climate change, that this implies change, opportunities, challenges and risks, politically, economically, socially, and potentially also militarily. It is obvious that this new situation is a challenge for the local and the indigenous population, the Arctic countries, and the global community as well. The changing landscape calls urgently for rules-based governance and responsible action from all sides to ensure the peaceful use and sustainable development of the Arctic through bi- and multilateral cooperation. For what happens in the Arctic does not stay in the Arctic. With the Arctic evolving as a foreign policy issue in its own rights, Germany has therefore developed a full-scale Arctic strategy, defining our interests and responsibilities and determining the instruments for implementation of our strategies. In the following presentation, we'll first outline our strategic approach and then describe to you the instruments we employ to contribute to a sustainable development of the Arctic. Ladies and gentlemen, the consequences of rapid uh, climate change in the Arctic are grave and diverse. They are felt far beyond the rare Arctic region as such. Looking from a policy perspective, they impact on environmental, economic, social, research and safety issues. Consequently, all developments in the Arctic happen against the background of this dramatic situation. In view of these developments, Germany authored Arctic policy guidelines, which are subtitled, Assume Responsibility, Seize Opportunities. Our guidelines take a holistic approach and aim at a uniform Arctic policy of the German government. First and foremost, Germany is committed to international agreements, such as the UN Convention on the Law of the Seas. We are absolutely committed to a peaceful and rule-based use of the Arctic. Second, in view of Germany's commitment to the protection of the world's climate and biodiversity, it is of great importance to us to see sustainable management of the Arctic ecosystem with particular concern for the views of the indigenous and local population. Third, we strive to maintain the freedom of research in the Arctic while contributing, contributing substantially to Arctic research. We are convinced that Arctic research funding are essential for as a basis for any informed future decision-making on Arctic issues. And fourth, Germany advocates the free and safe passage of ships as a fundamental principle of international law, which also applies to the Arctic. Our strategic objectives are clear. Conserving and protecting the Arctic while contributing to Arctic development in an eventually safe and sustainable manner. This means that Arctic policy today needs to be conceived in the context of international climate policy and in particular of the upcoming Paris Climate Summit. In Paris, we aim for an ambitious and legally binding agreement in order to ensure global decommunization within this century in line with the G7 Summit Declaration of Elmau in Germany. We are absolutely convinced Arctic development can and must be managed responsibly. To safeguard the Arctic environment, which is breathtaking and fragile at the same time, Germany, as a permanent observer to the Arctic Council since the Council's beginning, supports the Council's work on disaster prevention and its current effort on marine protected areas. As a partner in and for the Arctic, 
Germany is capable and willing to contribute with its expertise in research, technology, and environmental standards to sustainable development in this fragile region. This will be further elaborated in the following presentations of our country session. Research and technology in combination with the rules-based governance are the instruments to support our common goal of a peaceful and sustainable development of the Arctic. Ladies and gentlemen, protecting and developing, protecting and developing a region such as the Arctic requires a governance system which promotes broad international cooperation in shaping common interests and implementing common action. Germany, as a permanent observer to the Arctic Council, provides its vast expertise within the work Council's working groups, task force, and expert groups. The German Arctic policy guidelines underline our commitment to ensuring that the Arctic is used for peaceful purposes only. We therefore promote a rules-based, sustainable international order in the Arctic with close and multifaceted multilateral cooperation. The Arctic Council plays a very special role in this regard. Naturally, we also support other organizations, such as the International Maritime Organization with the legally binding polar code, that contribute to Arctic governance in their respective fields of activity. Ladies and gentlemen, if Arctic research is to be effective, our scientific cooperation needs to be international and free. Germany has always advocated international research cooperation, including international non-discriminatory scientific cooperation between Arctic and non-Arctic countries. Science and knowledge exchange provide a sound basis for, policy, for public policy makers in and around the Arctic. Long-term scientific observations are key to our understanding of the rapid changes of the Arctic. Our research station on Svalbard, the German-French Avipef laboratory, is just one example of many where climate science plays a significant role. Germany has always been committed in many fold ways to providing the international community with relevant data and knowledge to gain an understanding of the world's climate change. Our contributions to international research efforts are provided by several publicly funded research institutions, most prominently the Alfred Wegener Institute with the research vessel Polarstern. Key issues of German research, uh, research, just a moment, no. Key issues of German research commitment in the Arctic are changing sea ice, permafrost, geology, polar organism, organi organisms, and the effects of climate change combined with an approach that looks into ways of making development in the Arctic more sustainable for all stakeholders, in particular the local and indigenous population. For this purpose, Germany has made project funds available of around 250 million euro over the coming years. Also, please be assured that Germany research takes place in close cooperation with a broad range of international partners. For example, the research station cooperation with France or Russia. Another example are the projects such as the German-Canadian sea ice measurement campaigns. Let me point also out the coordination of the EU PolarNet as the world's largest consortium for polar research provided by the German Institute AVI. Germany also has the pleasure of hosting the Secretariat of the International Arctic Science Committee, IASEC. More details of this will also be available in the Science Cooperation Panel. Ladies and gentlemen, let me now turn to a very important aspect of any policy covering the Arctic, we are deeply convinced that the preservation of the fragile Arctic environment and opportunities to sustainable development complement each other. We think that it is our common responsibility to ensure that innovative technology solutions, precautionary action, and environmental safe governance support Arctic sustainable development. This will also help strengthening the resilience of Arctic communities. Arctic development is, placing, is taking, taking place at high speed, for example, with more shipping in across the Arctic, as we just heard from the Chinese presentation. Therefore, robust and reliable communication infrastructure is needed for safe maritime and aeronautical operations. While Germany having for, the world's fourth largest merchant fleet, Germany companies are proficient in specialized maritime and polar technologies that meet the highest environmental standards. Polar technology, has increased its significance with far-reaching applications in the offshore oil and gas engineering, shipbuilding, maritime supply industry, the shipping industry, and infrastructure in civil engineering and maritime security. It seems worth mentioning that German polar technology has particular strength, for example, environmentally friendly ship propulsion systems and special ice-breaking ships or engineering services 
for the design of ship or for offshore structures. Thus, Germany is well placed to contribute with technology and innovation required to supporting sustainable development in the Arctic. This is the focus of the last panel of our country's session on economic opportunities and sustainable development. In conclusion, Germany's strategic approach to the Arctic is driven by clear-cut guidelines for an environmentally safe and sustainable development. Our policy is designed to support rules-based governance that puts multilateral cooperation always in the first place. Preserving the Arctic's national heritage is international responsibility, which, to our understanding, requires mainstreaming Arctic issues in relevant policy areas. International research cooperation and innovative technologies are indispensable instruments for setting the basis for political decision-making and implementing strategic goals in the Arctic for the local and the indigenous population. Germany's Arctic policy in times of climate change is, we think, a realistic approach to preserve the natural heritage of the Arctic while seizing the opportunities for peaceful use and responsible development. If all join in this global effort to combat climate change, as we will do in Paris at the COP21 summit, we all, the local population and the indigenous people, the Arctic nations and the world as a whole, will reap the fruits in and for the generations to come. It is a long-term endeavor. However, we are optimistic that this strategy will create incentives for further multilateral cooperation. For us, such as the Arctic Circle, are an excellent basis for international cooperation and creating an understanding. Thus, we're very thankful for this meeting today, and I th I'm thankful for your attention.